Well, the next event on the track, the women's steeplechase. And uh, this one, I hope, will be uh, freshly run rather than slow and tactical. Well, it's only been held on three occasions before in the European Championships, the uh, steeplechase. The goals have gone to Belarus, Russia and uh, Turkey, respectively. Schlumpf being introduced to the crowd there. The uh, Swiss national record holder. Several of these women are not very good track runners on the flat, it has to be said. Schlumpf, with all due respect, won the Swiss 1500 title recently and her personal best is 4.22. Charlotte Fugberg also in uh, this lineup for the uh, Swedes, the European Team Championship winner in 2014. Watch her, could cause a bit of an upset here. She's very useful indeed, 9.23, her best. Moldner Schmidt also there, the German national record holder, 9.18, although that was in 2009. She's the German champion this year. Eriksson also out there. Sandra Eriksson for uh, Finland, nine times their champion. She's uh, a 9.24 performer, second fastest in uh, Europe, actually behind Fugberg. I think I said it would be a surprise if she might be a surprise Money if Fugberg won. She is, uh, on paper at least, perhaps the favourite. Well, away she goes. Uh, they go 15 competitors in this one. The world best this year, 9 minutes 10 seconds by Ethiopia's Zayalu. The championship record, 9.17 by Yulia Zaripova of Russia in Barcelona. That was, uh, what, four years ago. She won from Dominguez of Spain. What a clash that was. Well, the women's 4 x 400 meters relay was uh, won by France. And we can listen to some of the competitors here and now. This is the French team. Congratulations to all of you. Talk us through the last 100 meters. She said she started the last leg believing that they could still do it. She knew she had a lot of time to make up. And she says, uh, don't just look at me, it was a team effort. Muriel asked uh, when she believed it was possible. She, she saw that uh, at the start it was almost impossible to win, but coming into the home straight she started to think that a medal was possible. And then with 50 metres to go, she started to think in terms of the goal. And she says she won it on the line. A magical moment, it certainly was. It's an astonishing moment. Well, we come to the steeple chase with one minute 45 on the clock. Leading at the moment, the uh, Finn Sandra Eriksson. And moving along at a reasonably healthy tempo, I have to say. A couple of athletes beginning to struggle off the back already. One of them, Joanna Leitinen of uh, Finland, who's a reasonably good 1,500-meter runner. She's run 4.06 as a uh, Leighton, although it was a long time ago. She's 35 years old now. And also, conditions glorious for high jumping, it has to be said. Absolutely ideal. Now the leader in this team of chase is Kudzulic of uh, Belarus, eighth in the European Championships uh, in 2010. And I've written beside her name Strong because uh, she was uh, that was in the 10,000 meters she has got good strength not bad speed but she's run 32 40 for 10,000 which is quicker than most of this field and she will want to keep the pace uh, clicking along nicely in this middle stage of this women's table chase old Moldner Schmidt just on the shoulder of her there in third place Well, the steeplechase are building up nicely. They're coming up towards two kilometres. One kilometre is 3.09 by Kudzulik. That's a reasonably healthy pace, actually. Under 8.30 tempo. 2006-24. Well, it slowed down, hasn't it, dramatically. 3.14 for uh, that kilometre. And back, we're back to something, well, not much for inside. 8.40 tempo. So it's uh, 
started off so promisingly, but it slowed dramatically. Even so, there's only six in this leading group. Eriksson just isolated in seventh. Danikova in eighth. Moldner Schmidt leads from Fugberg, the Swede. Looking strong, Fugberg. Kuzlik on the inside. Martin coming down the outside for Spain. Diana Martin, their champion. Two laps are on then in this steeple chase, and we're down to effectively six athletes just beginning to drop off the back of the group is Krauser of Germany. Moldner Schmidt is tucked in there in third place. And the uh, gap's beginning to appear. Vlasova, the Russian, trying desperately to stay with them as the pace picks up down the back straight. She was third in the Russian Championship. She's an 8.34 performer. Pretty useful, but there she is trying to close up on that leading quartet. Well, it's shaping up very nicely, isn't it? This uh, last 600 metres, and uh, it's anybody's race from here. What have we got? Five, six athletes still in medal contention, although a little gap opening up between the first four and the next two chasing athletes. Well, Foodberg has gone very early. <laughs> Takes that penultimate water jump well. And because she's pushing hard now, it's reduced to single file. She's making them work for this if they're to beat her. Kudzelic in second. Moldner Schmidt in third. Martin Spain fourth. Then a little gap back to Vlasar of Russia in uh, fifth. And uh, in sixth place is Klauser. Looking very tired indeed. They hit the bell. It's Fuberg of Sweden. Their best result in the uh, Olympic Games in 2012 was a, was a fourth place. They haven't had a stunning week here this week. But uh, what can she do now? Fuberg to remedy that. Can she get their first goal? Moldner Spit back in fourth place at the moment. Moving well in second place. Kudzelik is covering everything the Swede throws at them at the moment. Fubok, Swedish champion for the last uh, four years, coached by Johan Wettergren. And driving hard now, pumping harder with those arms as she approaches the water jump for the final time. How they take this is critical. Fubok from Martin of Spain. Modna Schmidt down the outside, took that really well. And the athlete that took it terribly was in second place, comes out of the water in fourth. Kudzelik, so Fubok for the line. Moldner Schmidt in the dark glasses now in the long black socks. This barrier is critical and she takes it so much better than Fubon. It's going to be another goal for Germany. This is a turn up for the books, but it's a brilliant win there. Oh my word, Moldner Schmidt gold, Fubon silver behind the German. Silver for Sweden and Martin takes the bronze for Spain. The winning time, a very tasty 9.29.43. Only two athletes in uh, Europe this year have run faster well that was terrific running and terrific jumping wasn't it by the German Milner Schmidt who came off that final barrier and uh, well that was so much more impressive than uh, Fuberg who was looking a little bit tired started to chop her stride and the taller lankier figure of uh, Milner Schmidt took full advantage and the celebrations once again. Well, it's been a great last couple of minutes, hasn't it, Tim, for Germany? Schwanitz in the shot, and now uh, Milner Schmidt on the track in the chase. Well, that's the season's best by nine seconds for Milner Schmidt. That's so much quicker than she's run before this year. She's a 9.18 athlete, so she does have real class. But look at the way she took that final bar and stormed away to defeat Fugberg, who had led for about the last three laps. I did think Fugberg went a bit early. You have to save something for the home straight. But to Moldner Schmidt hanging on to her through that final water jump. Bronze medalist two years ago. Gold this time for the German 29-year-old. Well, how does that uh, shape up on the medal standings? Germany having a very good championship. So now it's certainly picked up today. They're in fifth place behind France, Great Britain, Russia and the Netherlands.